strong. How are you? This is Doc V for your lesson in English. English 4, Quarter 4, Week 7, Writing a News Report Using the Given Facts. It is milk-based. So before we proceed, I would like to request everyone to please subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates of videos. Thank you! After going through this module, you are expected to write a news report using the given facts. Realize that writing news report can increase self-confidence. How to write a news story? Okay. The five W's and the H, a good news report should be able to answer the WH question. What are these questions? What, when, where, why, and how? For example, if you're writing news report about the news apps in an online game, you will need to answer questions like, What is it? Is it the first of its kind? Who created it? Who else is involved? Who will maintain it? Who will use it? And where is it based? Are these any partners based anywhere else? Where will the users come from? When is it released? How long have they have been preparing? Why has it been created? What is the need for it? How does it fit into the bigger picture? of other resources? How can people start to make use of it? How does it fill a gap in the market? How will it affect the science people are doing? So, these are the questions. The inverted py uh, pyramid. Look at this, the pyramid of uh, the inverted pyramid. A writer puts the most important facts at the beginning of works down from, from there. So, at the beginning, these are the facts. Preferably, the first paragraph should contain enough information to give the reader a good overview of the entire story. News is written in the inverted pyramid style. Four of the essential five W's elements usually are contained in the lead paragraph of the news article. Supporting information follows. So as you can see, this is the this is the illustration of the inverted pyramid. And the first, the most important facts can be written at the beginning. Okay? So, now let us read the news report. Write the correct who, what, where, when, and how questions in the box. As you can see the illustration here. Now let us read first, okay? The, the title of this uh, write-ups is, or the news, is Two Pupils Received Awards. Ana Gonzaga and Grace Ramos bought grade for pupils of Tandang Sora Elementary School were awarded gold medalists for their honesty during the celebration of Buena Wicca. The said pupils returned a bag containing 10,000 pesos, a cell phone, and other valuable items to the principal's office. The bag, owned by an American tourist, Golda Prince, was left at the canteen when her group visited the school. The children found the bag and immediately brought it to the principal to help them find the owner. Miss Prince was very happy that the bag was returned and praised the children for their honesty. So in this report, you will find what are, what uh, you're going to write the correct who, what, where, and 
uh, how questions in the box. Like, for example, in the one, number one. So here, at number one, Ana Gonzaga and Grace Ramos. What questions are we going to use here? From number one. So it should be what? So it should be who because it answers the questions who. And for number two, it should be where? Because it is from uh, Tandang Sora Elementary School Celebration of Buena Wika. And for number three, for number three, when? When it did happen? So during the celebration of, Wika, uh, of Buena Wika, right? And number four, these are number four, what happened? And number five, why? Okay, what and why? You got it? Good. So in this part, for learning task one, uh, write a news report based on the following facts using inverted pyramid structure. Do this in your notebook. So the first one is the pyramid one, the essential facts and the, uh, the additional facts. Okay. So in this part, let us read first. Okay, let us read so that we can analyze. The plane was going to Cebu City on a test flight. Mayor Richard Datu, who rushed to the cross site, found the pilot Rene Lu and his passenger Lito Go, both safe despite despite the plane's damage. A two-seater plane with pilot Rene Lu passenger Lito Go crashed in a rice field of Barangay Kaditaan on July 15. Lu said the plane's engine stopped 30 minutes after it took off at Legaspi Airport. Plane crashes in Cebu. No one hurt. So, are you ready? Okay, start now. Best answer. Mm. This is the correct one. So let's start with the title. What is the title? Plane crosses in Cebu. No one hurt. So where is that? He, this one. Then in the first sentence, start with with a two-seater plane with pilot Renelu passenger to go cross in a rice field at Barangay Kaditaan on July 15. So this is the the first the first the first sentence in the paragraph okay so the next one is lu said the plane's engine stopped 30 minutes after it took off to the legaspi, legaspi airport then followed by the plane was going to cebu city on a test flight Mayor Richard Datu, who rushed to the cross, cross site, found the pilot, Renelu, and his passenger, Litogo, but were safe despite the plane's damage. So, look at this. Paano natin nagawa ito, children? So, I start with the, the title. Then, anong question dito ang inalagay muna natin? Anong mga question na dapat? Who? These are the questions, diba? Who, what, where, when, and why or how? Who? Who are they? So the first you can see that this is the the first sentence of the paragraph, right? Followed by the others. Okay. So, ano nakita nyo children? Yung mga tanong dito, complete na tanong. Like, who? Andyan, di ba? Like, what? Where? Saan nagawa nangyari? When? And why or how it happened? Okay? Do you get it, kids? Good. Then, oh my. So, in this part, so for learning task 2, yes, I was, uh, you can see already the answers here. So, for direction, write news report using the given facts below the complete and to complete the organizer. So start with who? Who? So who, uh, who are they? Who? So those what? 
Those in danger zones are advised to evacuate because of the possible floods and landslides due to the amount of water Typhoon Pablo is set to release. So this is the first one, right? Then what? What is this? A powerful typhoon will enter the Philippine area of responsibility on Monday, June 15. Right? And where? Alert is up for all those living near rivers and coastal areas. Okay? Then, when? So, according to Pag-asa, Typhoon Pablo is signal number two, uh, number two typhoon Tuesday evening. And why and how? So, why and how classes from preschool to secondary levels will be suspended in all affected areas? You got it? So, dito pa lang, children, nakita nyo, sa tanong na who, ito yung, mga kas ito yung kasagutan. Who? Sino-sino involved? Those in the danger zones are involved to evacuate, right? Because of the floods and landslide due to the amount of water, uh, Typhoon Pablo is set to release. And what? Siyempre, ano yon? A powerful typhoon, typhoon will enter the Philippine area of responsibility on Monday, June 15. Where? Where? Alert up for all those living near rivers and coastal areas. Okay, so when? According to Pag-asa, kailan nangyari yun? Signal number Tuesday evening. Why and how? Bakit? So, how classes from preschool to secondary levels will be suspended in all affected areas. So, nakita nyo, yung mga tanong dito, dapat, iyon ay sunod-sunod. Who? What? Where? When? Why? And how? You got it? Good. So, for learning task 3, use the facts below to write a news report about the given headline. Tingnan nyo ha, gagawa tayo ng headline reports dito at babasahin muna natin. Tingnan natin to ha, tingnan muna natin. Babasahin muna natin. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Everyone in the school community actively participated. Positive outcomes were derived from the project. DepEd said donations may include construction materials such as hollow blocks, cement, paint, and tools for the repair of school through the, the ADOPT school program. DepEd added that school supplies for learners, teachers, and health and hygiene kits may also be donated. DepEd said communities and stakeholders have an important role in the preparation of schools the department of um, also encourages in-kind donations instead of broadcast. DepEd said Brigada Escuela kicks off on May 29 at the New Society High School in General Santo City with the theme, Pagkakaisa para sa handa, ligtas at matatag na paaralan tungo sa magandang kinabukasan. In Brigada, Bayanihan is very much alive through helping hands and unrelenting commitment to serve and improve the quality of education, Deputy Secretary Leonor Briones said in a statement on Friday. With the new school year just a few weeks away, the Department of Education, or DepEd, along with the different organizations and stakeholders from both the public and private sectors, are gearing up for the nationwide Brigada Escuela. Okay, now, let us make a news report about the given headline. Okay, so, this one. Okay, this one. So, this is with the new school year just a few weeks away, the Department of Education or DepEd along with the different organizations and stakeholders from both the public and private sectors are gearing up for the nationwide Brigada Escuela 
Deb Ed said Brigada Escuela kicks off on uh, May 29 at the New Society High School in General Santa City with the theme Pagkakaisa para sa handa, ligtas at matatag na paaralan tungo sa magandang kinabukasan. Deb Ed said communities and stakeholders have an important role in the preparation of schools. The department also encourages in-kind donations instead of cash. Deb Ed said donations may include construction materials such as solo blocks, cement, paint, and tools for the repair of school th schools through the Adopt a School Program. Deb Ed added that school supplies for learners, teachers, and health and hygiene kits may also be donated. Everyone in the school community actively participated. Positive outcomes were derived from the project and Brigada Bayanihan is very much alive through helping hands and unrelenting commitment to serve and improve the quality of education. Deb Ed Secretary Leonor Briani said in a statement on Friday. So this is the correct one. Okay? Okay, good. Have you noticed it? So the paragraph one, what event took place, who was involved, when were the event took place, and paragraph two, supporting details, and paragraph three, another supporting details. You understand, kids? Good. Another one for learning task four. So this one. You can see that you have to arrange the following facts to form news report. Write your answer in the paragraph form. So, tingnan nyo A, B, C, D. Nakita nyo. Di ba? Nakita nyo. So, ngayon, naalaman natin ang pagkakasunod-sunod. So, ano una dapat? Ano ang dapat dito sa learning task 1? Okay. Division of Celera conducts teacher induction program to 320 newly hired teachers. So, start with, kita mo sa letter din na yan. So, now, the Division of Celera through the leadership, uh, through the leadership of the Superintendent Mel Melanie Rojas, EDD conducted the teacher's induction program to 320 newly hired teachers at Lisa's Resort, Zamboanga, Sibugay, on July 2 to 4 this year. Uh, teacher induction program is a training given to the newly hired teachers. One of its purposes is to let them understand their roles and responsibilities. Education program supervisors who were trained on TIP were the facilitators. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, ano una ay letter... Gayto ang gagawin natin, i-arrange natin ang report, no, nauna ang, ang title, Division of Solera Conducts Teachers Induction Program, followed by letter what? Letter B. Then, anong sunod? Katapos, ayan na yan, ang sunod-sunod. Katapos ng letter B. Anong sunod sa letter B? Okay, so na teacher induction, letter A. Pagkatapos ng letter A, I, one of its responsibility, kasama pa rin sa letter A yan, purpose. Then, division, uh, so, sunod na po ay education program. Ito na po yung huli. Okay, education program. So, nakita nyo na ang pagkakasunod-sunod, right? So, minsan, ang gagawin nyo talaga, children, i-analyze nyo. Mahirap mag-analisa, pero pag alam nyo yung mga tanong na dapat nyo itanong, tulad nitong who, what, where, when, why, or how. Okay? Yun yung mga katanungan na dapat natin i-establish. Kaysa, nalalaman natin ang pagkasunod-sunod using inverted pyramid. Okay? So, yun nga kanina, ito yung mga indicators sa rubrics, yung 5, uh, 5 points, 4 points, 3 points, 2 points, and 1 point. 5 points, the news is well organized with clearly stated ideas and orders uh, with no error. 4, the news report is well organized with clearly stated ideas and order with one minor error. Then 3, the news report is well organized with clearly stated ideas and in order with two or more error. And two points, the news report is poorly organized. And a point, the, new, the news report is disorganized and cannot be read. 
So, yung rubric, dapat, lagi kay, dapat alam din natin yung mga pontos natin. Okay, dapat maging aware tayo sa, na, sa dapat nating isulat. Okay? So, in learning task 5, given the facts inside the table, write a news report on a paragraph form. So, ito na po ang gagawin nyo, children. Dito, nakalagay na po rito ang mga facts. Ang gagawin nyo ay gagawa kayo ng news report gamit yung mga nasa loob, yung mga facts na to. Tapos, gagawa na kayo ng uh, news report. Tandaan nyo, children. Dapat yung mga questions na WH questions. Doon yung limang uh, W, tapos isang H uh, question. Start with who, what, where, when, why, or how, how it happened. Okay? So, susundan yung children yon para lalo nyo maintindihan. Pag hindi nyo pa talaga naintindihan, yung ginawa natin mga sample kanina, yun ay pag-aralan natin, paulit-ulit natin, uh, panoorin, pag-aralan natin bakit na bakit yun ang dapat sunod-sunod, kasi yun ang dapat, di ba? So, you have to watch again this video for more understanding so that you can answer all the different tasks that, uh, that your teachers are uh, are giving you or for those exercises for those given facts that was uh, presented okay or it can be uh, ask lahat ng tinatanong lahat dapat ay ating unawain maigi ito ay nakakatulong to nakakatulong ang video to okay very good so in this one naman so for direction here So, what will you, let us uh, write the missing words to sum up with the, uh, the questions. So, start with a good lead when writing news report. Then, news is written in the inverted pyramid style for all the essential W, 5W, and elements, 5W meaning 5WH questions usually are contained in the lead paragraph of the news article supporting information follows then a good news report should be able to answer the questions ano yung mga tanong who what where when and how kasama na ron doon ang why di ba how or why nakuha niyo okay good maliwanag ba kids so ulitin ko ha for those of uh, If you find it hard to answer those given tasks, try to watch again this video. Okay? Para alam nyo talaga kung ano ang dapat sunod-sunod na gagawin. Nakuha niya? So, alam ko nakatulong tong video to. I know that in, um, in, um, for just a little while, kahit na kaunting panahon lamang na pinanood nyo to, nakatulong itong maigi sa inyo dahil um, sunod-sunod na, na mga questions ay may kaakibat na mga sagot. Hindi para kayo ma para isubo na sa inyo ang mga sagot, kundi para lalo nyo maintindihan at unawain maigi at pwede nyo rin pag-aralan kung paano na-come up ang sagot na yan. Okay? I hope this is very helpful to your lesson and alam ko rin, children, na medyo mahirap talaga ang paggawa ng ganito. Kahit nga mga guru nahihirapan. So, balit, ang gagawin nyo lang, children, focus on this. You can do it. I know you can do it. Others can do. Why can't you? Di ba? Ganun yan. Okay. This time, I would like to thank you kids for giving your time and answering all the different tasks here. And again, for those who are not able to subscribe yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates of videos. Thank you guys. Thank you kids. And stay safe everyone. God bless us all. Bye-bye.